Compared to the Imperial ranks seen in Star Wars productions, the Imperial officers seen in The Return of the Jedi were clearly inconsistent with the Imperial officer rank plaques from the previous movie Empire Strikes Back. In fact, most of the Imperial officers seen in Return of the Jedi wore insignias indicating the rank of commander or a captain, which appears to be down to a mistake by the film's costume department. Indeed, several subscribers have also pointed out this mistake and an issue with the costumes to be the reason, as a change to the Imperial rank system does not appear to make any sense when you investigate further. This video explains the correct rank plaques that should have been used and displayed for each featured commissioned Imperial officer uniform costume seen in Return of the Jedi in relation to their line branch of the Imperial military. The rank insignia chart relates to the reorganised rank system designed after the Battle of Yavin in Zero BBY. The chart is sourced from West End Games 1989 Imperial Sourcebook, which states the rank system was created after the Battle of Yavin concluded. The rank system was designed after the first Death Star's destruction, killing millions of the Empire's most talented Imperial officers. This meant many inexperienced officers at the Imperial Academies across the galaxy were accelerated through their training to fill the vacant gaps of the compromised Imperial military command structure. The two pilots escorting Darth Vader to the second Death Star seen at the beginning of the movie were Colonel Jendon and Captain Yor. Both officers were wearing black uniforms and both served the Imperial military branch of the Starfighter Corps as very experienced Onyx Squadron fighter pilots. Colonel Jendon's rank insignia should have displayed four red over four blue tiles with two co-cylinders, and his co-pilot Captain Yor's plaque would have displayed three red over three blue tiles with one co-cylinder. The Death Star's docking bay officer handling Vader's arrival was Lieutenant Endicott. Endicott was part of the Naval Security Branch, which also wore a black uniform. The Lieutenant's rank insignia of two red tiles over two blue tiles with one coat cylinder would have been seen on Endicott's uniform. Next seen greeting Darth Vader onto the second Death Star with an entourage of officers was Moff Tion de Gerard. Although he was addressed by Vader as a commander, we know to Gerard was in fact a Moff, also known as a Sector Governor. The Moff was seen with the rank insignia of spaced three red tiles over three blue tiles with two coat cylinders, which displayed the rank of a commander, which did not match his seniority. During this time in 4ABY, in contrast to the system used before the Battle of Yavin, the plaque of six blue tiles over three red and three orange tiles was used for a priority sector governor such as a Grand Moff or a Moff, or even an appointed High Commander. Seen in the line of officers waiting to greet Darth Vader was Colonel David John, wearing a grey uniform. He was part of the Imperial Military's Special Forces Division and aligned to the Navy Line Branch. Again, he was wearing a Captain's Rank Plaque of three red over three blue tiles, which was incorrect, and should have displayed a rank plaque of four red over four blue tiles with two co-cylinders. Another officer in the line was Captain Godhurt, who was part of the Navy line branch who was actually wearing the correct captain's rank plaque. Also next to him was Captain Sarkley of the Army line branch, and again as a captain was wearing the correct rank plaque. Moving along the line was Rear Admiral Charinow, who belonged to the Navy line branch reporting to Fleet Admiral Firmus Piet. Where there were different rank plaques for various levels of Admiral prior to the Battle of Yavin, the new system simply applied the plaque of six red over six blue tiles to all Imperial Navy Admirals, including a Rear Admiral, a Vice Admiral, an Admiral and a Fleet Admiral, including two or even three code cylinders. Lieutenant Grond and Lieutenant Hebsley, further down the line, were wearing black uniforms and belonged to the Starfighter Corps branch. Both should have worn the rank insignia of two red over two blue tiles, with one code cylinder. Later in the movie, Fleet Admiral Firmus Piet of the Navy Line Branch is seen on the bridge of the Star Dreadnought, the Executor, wearing an incorrect captain's rank plaque, when in fact he should have displayed the rank plaque of six red over six blue tiles, as Piet did in Empire Strikes Back. Piet's first officer aboard the Executor was Captain Garant, and was actually wearing the correct rank plaque of a Navy Line Captain, with three red over three blue and one code cylinder. During the early stages of the Battle of Endor, Commander Merrick, who was assigned to the bridge of the Executor, notified Piet that the Star Dreadnought had reached attack position. Wearing a black uniform without a notable rank plaque, he appeared to be part of the Navy Security Branch. His rank plaque of Commander should have displayed the spaced three red over three blue tiles with two code cylinders. The following Imperial officers were all stationed upon the forest moon of Endor to protect the Death Star's shield generator. Colonel Dyer was the commander of the entire garrison stationed within the shield generator bunker and wearing a black uniform. 
The Colonel was part of the Security and Stormtrooper Corps branch, which was an ancillary branch of the Imperial Army. His rank plaque of Colonel should have displayed four red over four blue tiles with two coat cylinders. Major Hewix, who reported directly to Colonel Dyer, was part of the garrison station within the bunker and also wore a black uniform and belonged to the Security and Stormtrooper Corps branch. His rank plaque of Major should have displayed four red over four blue tiles with one coat cylinder. Lieutenant Renz reported to Major Hewix as part of the bunker garrison and again wore a black uniform which belonged to the Security and Stormtrooper Corps branch. His rank plaque of Lieutenant should have displayed two red over two blue tiles with one cone cylinder. Commander Iger, who also reported directly to Colonel Dyer, commanded patrol missions around the shield generator bunker. However, Iger wore the grey uniform of the Army Line branch and his rank plaque of commander correctly displayed the spaced three red tiles over three blue tiles with two code cylinders. Upon the executor, an unidentified bridge officer notified Piet that the ship had lost its bridge deflector shields. The problem I found with the rank of this officer was he was wearing a Navy Line branch captain's rank plaque, which was associated with the executor's first officer to Piet. As Captain Garant held this position, I felt the unidentified bridge officer should have held the rank of two red over two blue tiles and a single code cylinder as a lieutenant. If you are interested in more Imperial Ranks Explained videos, please check out my channel. For more Imperial Explained videos, please give a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and as always, long live the Empire.